Welcome back everyone to the Fuse One series. Previously, we went over how to unbox and set up the Fuse One and Fuse Sift, as well as some best practices. Today, we're actually ready to post-process our very first build. So without further ado, let's pop this bad boy open and get sifting. Before you proceed, you want to make sure to let your build chamber cool down for at least half of the printing time. If your print time was 24 hours, you want to wait at least 12 hours before transferring from the Fuse 1 to the Fuse Sift. The reason for that is because if the parts cool down too quickly, they will warp inside the chamber and give you failed prints. Make sure to use your protective gloves if the chamber is still hot. Unplug the chamber and put the plug into its resting position. Slowly slide the chamber out and move it to the sift. Alright, so we have our build chamber moved from the Fuse 1 to the Fuse Sift and we're almost ready to go. You want to make sure to put on some nitro gloves and also the N95 mask or better so that you can stay safe. Turn on your Fuse Sift, remove the cover over here, raise your cake and let's get sifting. First thing I do is slide the entire cake over to the white grate. Any loose powder that falls into the sieve will get recycled. What I like to do is use my hands to separate the larger pieces and then work my way down to the smaller ones. Make sure to use all the tools that come with the sift to clean the inside and outside of your parts. Any airborne powder will get captured by the filter due to the negative pressure in the sift. Before you clean up the sift, move all of the loose powder you can into the mesh so you can maximize reclaimed powder. Alright, so there you have it. We sifted through our parts and we got them pretty clean. So now they're either ready to use or send out to our clients. If you want to get a nicer surface finish, you can take them to a media blaster and process them a little bit more that way. If you want to get a different color, you can dye these parts. But at this point, we're ready to go for our next print. And don't forget to like this video if you found it useful and subscribe to the Shop 3D channel to hear more about the Fuse One and other things we've got going on. Until next time, I'm Felix.